Energize. Okay, here's my Protran 2 box. I have it open. I only have this tied up here because once you take this plate off, this will just keep flapping down in front of you, and I need to have it just hold it up out of the way so I can work down here. But uh, I have uh, four circuits on there, and uh, I don't really need the 220. So I have removed the little connector, which you can unscrew, and it comes out over here. If you go to the website, it'll tell you that. And uh, then I have the two breakers here. I'll take those off in a minute and show you, but I didn't take the inner connect off because it looks like it's somehow permanently on there. And earlier when I did unhook these, it looked like these were like joined as one. They weren't like two separate ones. Was when you take them out, it's still one unit. So I thought, well, maybe I could take one out and just use the other one as a 20 amp because one of these over here, that is a 15 amp here, is really a 20 amp over in my breaker box, which is okay. I can have a 20 amp over here and a 15 here. But since the wires on these, from what the Reliance tells me, the wires on these two are number 10 wires. The rest of these are number 12. Not that it makes that much difference because this is an older house, so back in the old days when you had refrigerators, they 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 uh, took a lot of power. But because I have number eleven uh, is a fridge, and uh, when I check it, when it's just running by itself, and you know, very little wattage. You know, I think most of the wattage is when you open the door and the light comes comes on and. Uh, the only other time is when it's in a defrost cycle when you get a lot of wattage. But it isn't that, that much. I mean, uh, you don't really need a 20 amp. But what I want to do is I want to put this fridge on a 20 amp over here. And then I have this 15 amp I can use for something else. And I could put the 20 amp in here and not have to change the wires over there. But, you know, no big deal. These are number 12, these are number 10. Eh, it's probably best if I put the 20 amp on a number 10. Big deal. But, uh, so I bought uh, two new circuit breakers. One's a 15 and one's a 20. And these are separate ones, which I'm going to put in here. Because I can still have a 15 in here with the number 10 wire. No big deal. But, uh, I'm going to have that, and of course I got my wires hooked up, black to black, red to red, white to white, and green is ground down here, and I have it running outside. And uh, so, we're going to take a look at that and uh, see how we go on this, but okay. Okay, so now we got the new wiring in. I added a few more circuits. I have to redo this card up here because it's changed. So I'm using every one of these now. I have A, B, C, D, E, and F. I have one that's a 20 because that is hooked up to a 20 over in the main breaker panel. So that's okay. The rest of these are 15s and they correspond to 15s over here. And if I see that, you know, the power is getting too much on either side, which I really doubt, because most of these are lights and maybe a computer, which doesn't take hardly anything, and the new monitors, I can always switch off some of these later here. But, uh, so I got the two separate breakers, and this is the one that I took out, and you can see the one that was in there is I guess glued there or something. I don't know if I took this clamp off here maybe that would separate them but the back doesn't seem to separate although I can see a gap in there. I don't know. But to be safe I spent the uh, $8.50 or $9 for the two breakers here just to be sure. Always best to spend the extra money there and whatever so okay and these are like i said number 10 wires in here and these are all number 12s over here so 
That's what we got hooked up. And uh, I left some extra wire in there. I really didn't cut it because when I first did this, I did cut some wires. And now if I wanted to move them to another breaker, the wire is too short. So uh, this time, didn't really cut the wires back. I left them in there and just looped them in there. I still have plenty of room in my breaker panel because this is a uh, new 200 amp circuit there, a 200 amp breaker panel. Okay, let's uh, see what happens. I think that's, that's all good now. All right.